I know what some of you are thinking. That's all he does is eat unhealthy. How does he say that he always eats healthy without ever eating healthy? Just a day in the life, right? Welcome to Flat Top King. Today, quick video. I'm making my lunch for the week. We bought this pork loin at our local store. It's on sale. So for $7.95, I got to feed myself basically for about four to five days. And this is how we do it. I don't rinse, wash, or even cut off the fat. I'm going to cut these in nice steaks. The reason why I cut them a little bit thicker, because I like to get a good sear on them. The thicker the pork chop, the longer you can have it resting on your flat top grill to get that good sear. So what I do at the end of the, or what my wife does is actually makes me a little uh, to-go baggy. Puts my protein in there, and that's what I have for lunch. Just protein. Just that's protein, it. yep. And we're protein sky high right now. We thought this was a good, uh, sometimes we use pork tenderloin. We'll use leftover meats that we make for the week. Chickens, sliced deli meats. This is right there with it. I'm gonna go wash my hands and be right back. All right, really quick, I run down the spices. I got my garlic powder, black pepper. You guys know I love my Cavender's Greek seasoning, but today we're gonna throw this down on there. They sent it to me when they uh, sent me my griddle and I love this stuff right here. It does have a, when you don't use your Weber and you don't have that smoke flavor, this is a perfect alternative. It's got that hint of smoke, and I'm always talking about that extra bit of flavor, and this is no different. Just season them up the way you like them. Now that your pork chops are seasoned, just go ahead and flip them over and season the other side. Just hit it with a little avocado oil. Just spread that oil around evenly. You guys see we're smoking, that's a good sign. That means we're preheated the way we want it. I do have a video out there called Juicy Chicken. And so a lot of people have been asking, how do you like the pit boss so far? And I said, man, we're just at the beginning stages. It's so hard to tell. So this is another prime example, just like a smash burger, on whether or not you can get the crust. I think you guys will be pretty surprised. You guys may notice me using this wood spatula. I got it from Early Wood. I found it online at Amazon. Um, basically, the reason is I've been frustrated with the fact that food is not coming off as easily as what I would like. When you have a regular rolled steel griddle, you just take that scraper, scrape right over, and it seems like it comes right off. With this non-stick ceramic coating griddle surface, food tends to stick more than what I would think. With that being said, it's easy to come off if you've got the right tools. Wood is in between silicone and metal, okay? It's not as harsh as metal. This is a soft wood, but it's a little bit stronger than silicone. And so what I'm doing, oh yeah, see that good crust? You see that fond right there? You see that, honey? Mm -hmm. Look how easy that has came up. And that's what I've been looking for right there. This griddle is an excellent griddle for anybody, for any cooking, uh, stage in their life, right? A lot of people don't want to deal with a hassle. This is a great alternative. If we can get the food up, and this might be the secret. You gotta let me use it to see what I think. Um, just give me a couple of tries, a couple cooks and stuff like that to get used to it, to see if this is something we'd recommend. Comes right up. I mean, just right up. Now that I just flipped them, I talk about all the time residual heat. Well, the one advantage of this that my Camp Chef does not, it's got the lid that closes, right? So what I wanna do is just go ahead and turn off the heat completely and then close the lid, just like that. Now it's gonna create that oven effect. It's gonna finish cooking our pork. We're gonna shoot about uh, 142 to 144 is probably gonna be my guess. And uh, once they're done, we're gonna pull them and that's lunch for me. Look how juicy these things are on top. That's the ability to be able to turn off the heat and close the lid and allow these pork chops just to have enough residual heat to cook all the way through. So that way you're not cooking dry meat. All right, really quick, now that I got those off and you guys are interested to see how easy it is to clean. So my flat top has cooled down just a hair. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. It's almost like the deglazing effect. And now with a scraper, you guys can see
effortlessly. that jibber jabber juicy pork chops this is my lunch so <laughs> you don't want to eat too many of them no this is lunch for the week i'll be having a good lunch here try this what is that two dollars a day you can't even buy a combo now for eight bucks mm, that's good baby healthy protein mm -hmm. clean Good crust. Mm-hmm. Yep. A little sneak peek behind the scenes. That's what I eat for lunch. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Easy. Easy. Pork chops on my pit boss griddle. <laughs>